Coronavirus is the talk of the town, but not in a good way. Today we're going to give you a few tips on what you can do to stay healthy but not be crippled by fear and anxiety in the midst of the media hysteria of a looming pandemic. Good day, West Seattle. This is West Seattle Daily, episode number 40, brought to you by Seatown Real Estate. I'm your host, Christian Harris. It's all over the news. People are freaking out. Travel is down. Stores are sold out of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. It's the coronavirus. Now, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to try and get all technical on what it is. Uh, as one of my friends says, GTS. Google that shit. It's essentially a family of viruses with severity ranging from symptoms of a common cold to severe respiratory diseases like MERS and SARS. Common signs of infection include respiratory symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath, and breathing difficulties. In more severe cases, infection can cause pneumonia, severe acute respiratory syndrome, kidney failure, and even death. Now that all sounds very scary, and it is, uh, but there are some basic precautions that you can do to protect yourself and others. Things like washing your hands regularly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, or as we tell our kid, use your cough corner. You know? <laughs> um, don't touch your face, uh, as this is the most common way as germs get into your body, through your mouth, nose, and eyes. This one's a little more challenging for me, because uh, once I start paying attention to this, I notice my hands are always kind of up near my face, so I don't know what that's all about. If you're sick, wear a mask to prevent your germs from getting airborne through your coughing or sneezing. Masks are not necessary if you're not sick, uh, as most of the masks you buy off the shelf uh, are not airtight, and so germs can still get in. Um, but if you are sick, it will prevent your, your germs from being spewed into the air. Avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness, such as coughing or sneezing. Uh, if you have the luxury, avoid crowded enclosed places for a time, like buses or airplanes. Now, if you aren't able to wash your hands on the regular, make sure you have alcohol-based hand sanitizer on hand. Uh, if the stores around you have already sold out or out of stock, uh, it's pretty easy to make your own. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or Instagram, uh, we'll include the ingredient list below. Uh, here's what you need. Two-thirds cup of rubbing alcohol. Make sure it's 91%. Uh, One-third cup aloe vera gel and the optional essential oil if you want to add a fragrance to it. A small mixing bowl and spoon, an empty container such as a three ounce container for a travel toiletries kit, uh, and a small piece of masking tape or permanent marker for labeling. So you essentially just mix the alcohol and the aloe vera gel together until it's blended. Add eight to 10 drops of the essential oil if you want a fragrance, and then use it whenever necessary. So while a virus outbreak like this is pretty scary, it's also a good reminder that we each need to plan ahead in, for an emergency plan, including minimum of two weeks extra food and water for you, your family, and any pets you have in case of a natural disaster or a, a potential outbreak like this. Uh, this helps us not to panic when something comes up and not having to worry about rushing out to Costco at the last minute to stock up with the masses who also did not plan ahead. What are you doing right now to stay healthy? We'd love to hear what you are up to and how you're staying healthy. Leave a comment below. Let's hope the coronavirus just ends up being another overhyped media scare. But in case it's not, do your part to stay healthy and stop putting your dirty hands in your mouth. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope this was helpful and I'll catch you tomorrow.